Hi everyone, today I will start explaining the activities. For the first part, you have a short story that it's called Los Inventores Mexicanos. And then you have a couple of questions. All the questions are in English, but the story is in Spanish. I will explain all the meaning of this story in Spanish and English, okay? So make sure that you pay attention. Uh, first of all, we have four words uh, highlighted in yellow. The first one is calendario. Calendario means calendar, inventores, inventors, tecnología, technology, invención, invention. So what is the difference between invención and inventores? Inventores are the person or the people who create the inventions, okay? So an invention is the thing, the object, and inventors are the people. Okay, so why do you need to know the meaning of those four words? Because in the question number five, you have to translate the words to English. I already explained you what is the meaning of each word, so can you, you can just write it here, okay? The first one, we have to know the name of the two Asian tribes, who was Victor Celorio and who invented the television in color, and why this Isla glove was important. Pay attention to the story. Mayas o Aztecas. Los Aztecas y los Mayas fueron grandes inventores. Mayas and Aztecs were great inventors. Mayas or Aztecas were the very popular tribes that lived in Mexico a long time ago. There is still some of the Asian culture. But before, those main groups were the ones that created a lot of things that were very popular. Let's continue with the story. Hace miles de años inventaron un calendario solar más exacto que nuestro calendario actual. That means, a long time ago, like a lot of years ago, they invented a solar calendar that is more accurate than our currently calendar. Here is how the calendar look like. Look, this is like in, made of rock. The Aztecs create this type of calendar and they have this exhibit in el Museo Nacional de Antropología. You can see how does the museum look like. This is located in Mexico City. Here is the Mexico map and this is Mexico City. And this is how the Mexican flag look like. It's green, white, red. And in the middle we have an eagle that is eating a snake under this plant that is called nopal. Let's continue with the story. En México hay muchos inventores importantes. Víctor Celorio, por ejemplo, inventó el Instant Book Maker, una tecnología para imprimir libros electrónicos rápidamente. The first paragraph is basically saying that in Mexico there are a lot of inventors that are very important. The first one is Víctor Celorio. You can see the name here and the picture of Victor Celorio. He invented, inventó el Instant Book Maker. Basically, this is a technology to print books very quickly. So you can see here it looks like a printer. So basically, you just connect it or plug it to the laptop and then you can print a lot of books. This one's of the things that he created. Next part of the story. Guillermo González Camarena también es un inventor mexicano. Él fue uno de los primeros inventores de la televisión a color. He's saying, Guillermo González Camarena is also a Mexican inventor. He was one of the first inventors that creates or invent the television, the color television. So here you have the picture. This is Guillermo González, and he was the first one that created this one, TV in colors. Before you know that the television is was just white and black. Next, let's keep reading the story in Spanish. José Hernández Rebollar inventó el Aisle Glove 
su invento es un guante que traduce en voz alta al inglés y al español el lenguaje de señas llamado American Sign Language. ¿Qué es eso? Josué Hernández Rebollar invented the East Club. Her, his inventor, his invention, it's a club that translate out loud English and Spanish the American Sign Language. ¡Qué padre! How cool! Esa invención, this invention, ayuda a muchas personas. Help a lot of friends. So this is a picture of Jose Hernandez Rebolla. I'm going to start playing the video so you can see. Basically, he's moving his hand doing some American Sign Language. The device that he's holding in his hand is saying the word in English or in Spanish. So this is a very cool inven invention just because if you don't know how to speak because you just can use the American Sign Language, then you can use this machine and the other people can understand what you're saying, even though they don't know American Sign Language. Okay, let's continue. So for the first part, we have to write the name of each invention. We have to use the Banco de Palabras. I'm gonna say it, and then you're going to find the word from this rectangle, and then you're going to write it on the line. So we have six pictures, says. So before I go over, I want you to remember the numbers. One, uno, dos, two, tres, three, cuatro, four, cinco, five, seis, six, okay? Número uno, number one. Monoriel. Número dos. Teléfono celular. Número 3. Televisor. Número 4. Computadora portátil. Número 5. Cámara de video. Número 6. Internet. ¿Ok? So we are going to answer these questions. First of all, what is a modismo? Modismo, I have the answer here in yellow, so you can copy. It's an idiom or a phrase or expression that usually presents a figurative, non-literal meaning attached to the phrase. So basically, a modismo is like a slang, something that you use, but not all the people use. It's depending on the context, depending on the country, depending on the place that you're using it. Okay, so if you have a chart like this, I'm going to read it in Spanish and I'm going to tell you what is the English translation. Que padre, how cool. Que chido, how cool. Que mala onda, what a bad vibe. Un chamaco, una chamaca, a kid. So if it's a male kid, it's un chamaco. But if it's a female kid, it's una chamaca. Que onda, what's up. Okay, so it's like in English. Most of the time, if you're in a formal context, you're going to say, how are you? Instead of what's up, right? What's up is like slang, something that you can use with friends. So exactly just like this, those are Mexican modismos or Mexican slangs that we use in Mexico, but those are not formal. Okay, let's continue. We're going to write five sentences using one word phrase per rectangle. We have... a uh, to check the invention's vocabulary in exercise two if you don't remember what is the meaning of each word. For example, if you don't remember what was el televisor, or la computadora, or teléfono, or la internet, or monoriel, you can use the, let me go back so you can see, remember that we use this exercise, so we have the vocabulary. So all this vocabulary is the same one that you have in the first rectangle, right? And then I just wrote here some of the words that can be hard for you. For example, cambio means change. Is the one that you have in the middle. Is the only verb that you have to choose. And then we have la forma en que, the way in which. And then we have the word that ends in each sentence is different. The first one we have trabajamos, it's we work. So basically it's saying la forma en que trabajamos is the way that we work. Next one. 
Nos divertimos means we have fun. So we have la forma en que nos divertimos, the way that we have fun. Number three, nos comunicamos, we communicate. The way that we communicate. Next one, viajamos, we travel. La forma en que viajamos, the way we travel. Hablamos, we talk. The way that we talk. So how can we make this sentence in Spanish? You don't need to know how to write a sentence. The only thing that you have to do is to choose one word per rectangle so we can make sentences that make sense. I will give you the first example. El televisor. Remember, el televisor is a television. And then we have the verb that is always the same. The blue part is always the same. Cambio is to change. And then I choose la forma en que nos divertimos. The way that we have fun. Okay? So we have to do exactly the same. Choose one word that is in the first rectangle. Then this one is going to be the same for all of them. And then just choose one of this. But remember that it has to make sense. For this part, we have to write in Spanish. If you don't know how to do it, you are welcome. You can use Google Translate so you can type your ideas in English and then you can just copy the way that you say in Spanish. So the first part is uh, we have a square on the left side. We are going to draw something. What are we going to draw? Imagine that you are in an inventor. So you're going to create something new, something that you would like to have a product that it's not invented yet, but you want to do it. So the first line, you have to write the name of your product. Then, para que sirve, that means why it's important. Like, what is the main role of that product? What is going to do for people? And then we have precio, which is the price. Mm -hmm. And for the last part, we have to answer this, look at Inventos Practice. We go to this uh, website or we can go to Schoology and click on the link that is over there. If you have any question, please let me know. Raise your hand so I can give you the homework. Have a good one.